Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to make this text effect on a light motion. This text effect is mostly used for watermark on your videos. It's very easy to make, and you can just use it as template for your future projects. If you just want to know how to use this preset, jump to 14 minutes and 55 seconds. Let's start the tutorial. Open the light motion and make a new project with your own settings. Click on the square box like icon on the middle right corner and choose the grid icon. This will enable the grids. Now just adjust the size of grids like I do here. This is important so make sure to follow properly. Now create a text layer and write your channel or page name. Make sure to make it center align by clicking on the top left corner. You can select your own font now. Set the size of the text such that it fits equally between the grid lines. Now click on the text layer. You will see that a rectangular box appears around the text. You can drag the box from its sides to adjust the size. Now follow this carefully. You need to make sure that the size of the box is same as the grid lines just before and after your text. This means the box should be at the position where the white bar animation happens. Pause the video if you want to, just make sure you do it correctly. Now adjust the position of the text so that it's in the middle. Now create a square shape layer and adjust it like I do here. Make sure that it is white in color. Go to move and transform and adjust its position on the left grid line. Select the size option and uncheck the link button in the middle. This lets you change height and width separately. Set the width to 13 and height to 1. Now add a keyframe here. Move forward a little bit to 1.2 seconds on your timeline and add another keyframe here by increasing the height. Now go to graph and make the curve same as I show here. Copy the graph. We will be reusing this graph everywhere. Now extend both the layers to 5 seconds. Now let's add some markers for your white bar transitions. You can copy these marks as it is. Now go to the first marker and add a position keyframe here. Move to the next marker and adjust the position of white bar so that it sits perfectly on the right side grid line. Now just paste the graph that we copied earlier. 
The animation is starting to look good. Select the text layer and add wipe effect to it. Make sure you are on the marker. Now add a keyframe for end value by bringing it to zero. Move to the next marker and bring the value to 100 again. Now just paste the graph that we copied earlier. Move to the third marker. Open Move Transform and bring the white bar back to the left grid line again. This will create a keyframe, so you need to paste the same graph here too. Go back to the same marker and select the text layer. Choose the end option and bring the value to zero again. And then paste the same graph again. We are halfway through the animation. Now we are gonna do the same steps, but on new text layers. Select the layer and duplicate it. Hide the original layer for now. Go to Color and Fill and choose No Fill option. Go to Border and Shadow and turn on the Stroke option. Change its color and thickness accordingly. Now duplicate this layer too. Edit this text and write made by now bring down the font size to around 12 or something don't change the size of box around the text make sure it stays the same now adjust its position and set it just above the other text layer and the rest of the part. Select the second layer and go to Effects. Select the Wipe effect and reset it. Now set the angle to 180 degrees. Add an end keyframe here and bring down the value to zero. Go to the next marker and set the value to 100 again. Paste the same graph here too. Now copy the effect and paste it on the third text layer. The animation is almost complete. Only the last part is remaining, which is just the same as previous. Go to the last marker and select the shape layer. Adjust its position to the right side grid again.
paste the same graph here too. While being on the same marker, select the second text layer. Set the value to zero again, and then paste the same graph here too. Copy the effect from the second text layer and paste it on the third layer. Go a little bit behind the last marker and select the shape layer. Go to move and transform and select the size option. Add a keyframe here and move a little bit further. Click on the middle button to unlink it, and bring down the height to 1. Paste the same graph here too. And your animation is done. You can see how smooth it looks. Now let's add some finishing touches to it. Add motion blur to the shape layer to make the animation look more smoother. You can just copy my settings. Now add a fade and transition to remove that small dot on the screen. You can skip this part as it is not necessary. Now select the layers and merge them into one group. Go to effects and add soft glow effect onto it. You can just copy my settings. Now we will add shadow to our text. To see what we are doing, we will add a lighter color solid layer behind. We will remove it afterwards. Select the grouped layer and add long shadow effect. And just copy all my settings. Before exporting it, change the background to transparent. Let me show you how to use this in your videos. Once your project background is set to transparent, you can add your edited video and place it below the text group. And all you need to do now, is just adjust its position and size according to the video that you are using. And you are done. Your own, customized after effects like watermark is now completed. Now I will show you how to use the preset. Download the preset 
and open it in a light motion. Select the group and click on Ungroup. Click on the setting in the top right corner and set the background to black so that we can see properly. Select the first text layer and edit it. Write your channel or page name or anything you want. Now follow this part carefully. Your text must remain inside this box always, and the size of this box must always remain the same. In this case where your text is less than 8 characters, you don't need to do anything more. You can leave the font size as it is. We will also see the case where the text is longer, and it comes in two lines. Make sure there is a visible gap between your text and the white bar. Select the second text layer and write your text here too. And you are pretty much done here. If your text is more than 8 characters and it ends up like this in two lines, you need to just change the font size without changing the size of the outside box. Make it to a value so that it fits inside the box and there's some gap between the text and the border. Do the same for the next text layer too. Now I'll bring the third text layer a little bit closer to the second layer by adjusting its position. And you are all set. Now set the background to transparent again go back to the main layer add your video and place it below the text group all you need to do now is just adjust the size and position of the text group according to your wish And you are all done. Your perfect text animation watermark is now complete. You can now export your final video. If you face any problems, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.